Well, the door is so I'm gonna Welcome to the show. 7 a.m. Get up. You know you got enough damn sleep anyway. Get your ass up. Don't complain. Didn't I give you a break yesterday? Huh? I did. I gave you all a break. I let you go to touch. Here's the problem. <clears throat> I didn't want to jump down your throats about having to hit the passer. And at the same time, skewer your asses for celebrating Mother's Day. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let them have a little freaking break. Y'all lucky. Because it would have been a show. I'd have pissed off brothers and sisters. Y'all celebrating Mother's Day. Have me, my name. Shut up! Look at the origins of Mother's Day before you decide to give my a call. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Okay. 701, the 9th of May, 2022. I'm Doug Rice. How you doing, that? Take it all in, baby. Take it all in. All right. Ha! Huh. You guys, uh, I know you missed me yesterday. I damn near lost my voice on Saturday. That was, that was surreal. Go watch Saturday's performance. Start going eh, gravel. And I was like, I better it up. And then Sunday, I knew I was going to do something crazy because it was Sunday. You're on your way to church. I don't know what the hell's happening. That was weird. Uh, anyway, so folks, look. Today's topic, the narration. And you know what? I don't care they're shadow banning me. This goes up on fucking you. I don't give a fuck. The 15, 16, the 30, however many of you this morning get the privilege of walking down the light fantastic of Caucasity with me this morning, tell your friends I'm here. All right, I'll be here for a little bit, so relax. It's 702. Today's topic. Well, I'll tell you. You guys saw me upload a pretty good video, a little interesting bit of information. The sister kind of went all in, right? I don't want it to be uh, misunderstood where I stand. <laughs> so, today's topic is going to be pro-black my ass. I'm negrocentric. Okay, so we'll get into this, right? Pro-black my ass. I'm negro. I'm negrocentric. So, okay, you know, the same thing I feel about the whole color spectrum that put us in the cacophony of caucasity that we all suffer in <laughs> you know you look folks on the uh, flip side of that spectrum black being the opposite of white there is no goodness there either do you understand i'm not a black person i am so sorry i'm a negro and i'm gonna bring that back baby i just don't want it to be something misunderstood i'm not pro-black let me explain something to you Pro-black will bring you the same thing pro-white pro -white will. Absolutely. fucking lutely You're going to have the exact same issues. This color spectrum created for the sole purpose of keeping a specific group of individuals on top. So no, I'm not pro-black. Negro-centric. That means I am centered around our issues. Think about what they've done to the word black. For God's sake, they're telling everybody, you're the first black this. You're the first black that. And they from Africa. So look, I remember when black meant, when black person meant Negro. But that shit's getting watered down, obfuscated, fucked up, misinterpreted, misapplied, misconstrued. It's all fucked up. We're Negroes. With the tribe of Judah trapped here as a result of disobedience mentioned in Deuteronomy 28. And we await our deliverance from Babylon the Great. So, no, I'm not, uh, not pro-black. I don't want anybody to get that misunderstanding. I don't want there to be, because the same flip side dichotomous nonsense will be 
done in the quote unquote black community as it's done in the quote unquote white community. I mean, when did this all go wrong? Where are you from? My God, you'll trade it all in <laughs> to be a white guy. Don't do that. It's falling apart. The whole color spectrum is coming apart at the seams. You know, and the folks that are supposed to be on top, those that are mentioned as superior every fucking place we go, seem to be expressing inferior conduct. My word. Don't you people know how to act? My God, I thought you were the center of civility. I thought you were the bastion of good taste and great behavior. Now you're just fucking each other up, left and right, west and east. It is fucked up. And I mean, you are really celebrating your fucking horror too. Today, over in Russia, they're just having a parade. They're celebrating the defeat of uh, Nazism. I dig that, right? And so <laughs> they're... They're running up and down the street, choosing their shooting. Oh wow, it's just glorious, huh? I can't wait to do that shit here. Do you not understand? Pro black my ass. I'm gonna tell you something, folks. If you're pro black, you're just another American. <coughs> if you're a Negro, you're not in this shit. Be Negro centric. Bring it in! Oh, you're gonna have to bring it in because it's fucking nuts out there. It's crazy, people. And, you know, we're going to go over it because that's what we do every fucking day. It's Monday. You just now getting up? I've been up. Let's look at the black news. Uh, that's what we do. All right, so uh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, this is a short opening. I want to get to the fucking news. There's some good shit out here, all right, folks? I mean, let's just go there. But uh, just to give everybody a heads up, you know, be a Negro. Try that out for a little while. See, see how it fits. You know, just determine where'd you come from, how'd you get here, where's your place here, what does the Constitution say about who you are? I understand Justice Alito is uh, spearheading the movement toward constitutional recognition. Well, that's going to put us in pretty bad spot, I'm just going to tell you right now, because we ain't mentioned nowhere in that document. Looks like they're uh, actually basing their future decisions on this past fossilized document, which unfortunately puts us in, let's just say, less than optimal space. <laughs> Stand by, motherfuckers. All right, you know what I do? Black news every single day as best I can without losing my voice. Today, uh, you know, they got a, they got an offer of uh, some interesting stuff. So uh, here's something I ran, ran across. First thing smacks me in the face about 40 minutes ago. Here we go. From the Washington Post, former Oklahoma police officers charged after fatally shooting black man. Now, I didn't hear about this. Quadri Sanders had just raised his hand when a police officer shot at him four times, according to graphic body camera footage on December 5th uh, outside of Latuan, Oklahoma. After falling to the ground... Uh, Sanders momentarily sat up, raised his hands again when the officer, along with a second one, fired more shots. Now, folks, <laughs> far be it for me to accuse anybody of being nervous in the presence of black men in a, you know, in a, in a situation where you're armed, they're completely unarmed, you've shot them once. They've gone down. They're raising their hands. And of course, the only prudent thing is to coup de gras the individual. Now, you know, you wouldn't dare do this to any other individuals. That's reserved specifically for Negroes. So you may get a theme as we continue this show. How you how you feeling this morning? You on your way? You, you getting dressed? Mm -hmm. I mean, you need to understand the sentiment of people that are armed, charged with enforcing the law. You know what I mean? That's that's their only job. 
And I can't imagine what goes through an individual's mind when they see they've hit a person and they're down. The second shot in light of an individual raising their hands, it just expresses a sadistic, cold-hearted bastard. You know what I mean? And we pass him every fucking day. Let's continue. Oh, yeah, that'll be interesting. I don't know what will become, I guess, the officer here. I guess he's charged. I mean, what's going to happen? What's going to happen is he's going to claim that he was in fear for his life. He's going to claim that at that moment, he was unable to think clearly and did not come to a good conclusion and therefore shot a second time after the subject on his knees, hands raised. Yeah. So let's just continue. All right. I'll just... All right. Uh, hey, this I found interesting. Here's one. Black-owned exotic pop. It sells a 20-ounce soda for $20, and people are buying it. Now, that's the headline. Black-owned exotic pop sells a 20-ounce soda for 20 bucks, and people are buying it. Now, uh, there's no question mark after that. It's just there's no period. It's just a hung sentence. And... I'm trying to figure out, you know, <clears throat> why make some kind of deal about this when if it has Gucci on it, I mean, you'll you'll pay you'll pay two thousand dollars for a fucking twenty ounce goddamned soda. I mean, if it has, you know, some other fucked up name, some other European name that you know slapped on it a name that they consider noteworthy, and it sells for $20 a bottle. There's no question as to that circumstance. But you put black owned in front of something and sell it for an exorbitant price as Europeans do, and suddenly that's a news story. I'm going to encourage every last one of us, brothers and sisters, find an exotic pop and buy one of them. Support us. Are you kidding me? Fuck yeah! You'll go out there and you'll you'll get Gucci, you'll get all the fucking Euro Italian shit. You'll throw that on you at twenty, thirty thousand goddamn dollars. You'll buy the shoes, you'll buy the purse, you'll drive the dress, you'll buy the watch, you'll buy the diamonds. But anytime they decide to put black owned in front of something and throw some fucking spotlight on the fact that maybe what we have is worth an exorbitant amount of money. No, they just find that a bit puzzling, right? I mean, you know, you know, you put Fabergé on something. You know, put Tiffany on something and see how much the increase in price might skyrocket. But no, black-owned exotic pop, oh, you, you know, he's charging $20 and people are buying it. You goddamn right. And you know who I hope is buying it? Us. Check out Exotic Pop. It's 20 ounce soda, sells for $20. Buy at least one. Let's continue. Uh, 714 in the morning. It's uh, Monday. All y'all on the way to work. I know y'all getting dressed. Probably got me in the background playing, trying to pick out your clothes, all this other shit. All ready to tell motherfuckers, did you have a good weekend? How was your mother's day? And you're going to look at them as if they give two dams about your life, honestly. And you'll probably answer them perfunctorily in some circumspect manner that will hopefully put their minds at ease, allow them to go on about their business. I just ask you help the situation along, brothers and sisters, and keep that goddamn grin off your face today. You think you can do that? How many of you think you can just manage to walk through this penal colony for Negroes today? Without a fucking grin on your goddamn faces. I mean, try it out! You might like it. You might feel the, the power I'm trying to get you to, to at least focus on it momentarily and watch the water spot out of your way, left alone, unmolested, unkidnapped, unmurdered, unkilled. If we could only learn 
to do that and couple it with bringing it the fuck in away from these individuals that, come on, what are they doing? What good has their presence brought us? And what good has ours brought them? Yes, before you determine that I'm taking a wrong course of action, before you even surmise that I'm suggesting something that is untoward, believe me when I tell you it is safer, Negroes, to walk about this place without a fucking smile. You try it out. You don't know anybody a goddamn thing. Hey! Let's continue. Sometimes it's what I do. All right, so yeah, uh, uh, bye, exotic pop. Fuck all that. What the hell are you talking about? All right, so uh, they got some ground. I don't know. I asked for black news. This is what I get. Groundbreaking result. Milky Way black hole coming soon. Who the fuck knows? Sometime this week, they're going to tell you something going on in the Milky Way. Listen, mind your fucking business. It ain't, it don't concern Hebrews. You know how far set apart we are from all this nonsense don't be alarmed. Don't be shocked. Don't be in awe. Close your mouth. Mm -mm, no. Listen, glide through this prophetic moment in time, folks. Our deliverance is near. They're losing their minds, looking in the sky for signs and things, and they're finding them. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop looking. The fuck's wrong with you? You're going to scare yourselves to death. <laughs> Y'all keep looking up there. You're going to find something... You didn't want to find. You might want to focus on what's happening here. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all do you, though. We're groundbreaking. We're groundbreaking, all right. <laughs> you know what's interesting? And I think we all need to pay attention to this. Please listen. Please listen. <laughs> They're staring up at space, just checking out what's happening, just looking. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Ain't none of them checking out what's beneath us. <laughs> that shit's comical. Because it's all going to come from below. Y'all better hear me, man. There are things existing beneath our feet that are about to make a showing. If you think you amazed now, boy, you better hold on to your hats. Let me tell you, they're in contact with shit that's about to show the fuck up. No worries, Hebrews. You don't have to worry about nothing. They ain't gonna fuck with us. Uh, we're, we're set apart. We are God's chosen. We are Hebrew. So don't get distracted. Don't get fooled. Don't be deceived. Oh, they're on the very cusp. They're on the precipice of trying to distract you. Please understand, Hebrews. The kingdom will soon arrive. The kingdom of God. And I will tell you this, they're going to wish they had listened. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Black motherhood shapes leadership in unique ways. I'm sure it does. Okay. I mean, what is it? What is it? Is it Washington Post? What is it? Like, think of something. Was that the email? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, landmarks. Black graves matter. Black graves matter. Did you have to, really? You're fucking kidding me. You did not name the organization Black Graves Matter. Okay, so uh, Black Graves Matter, uh, they, they're focusing their efforts on burial grounds surrounding a place in Thornton that offered respite from racism. A group of African-American business leaders established I can't even, I don't even want, black, black graves matter. What are you doing? Let me tell you something. Do you know what poking the bear mean? Let me tell you what's happening. Somebody's doing this shit. Somebody wants these, these right wing nuts to lose their mind. They're doing as much as they can to focus on that which they want to forget. Half of them are doing everything they can to agitate the other half. And we're in the middle looking at both of them going, you sure you want to do all that? What are y'all? I mean, not just a few years ago, they were getting along. Now it's like the South has risen out of the ashes of obscurity. 
and irrelevance and defeat. And they embrace losers. I don't understand it. I'm trying to figure it out. Every fucking one that got defeated, that's what they want to be. What are we doing? What is it? I mean, I, I, I'm old. I remember teaching school. I just a whole gambit of what happened. The South losing their mind over slavery. Yada, yada, yada. Just a thing. Nobody got in their fucking feelings. I didn't see white kids leave the fucking school seeking psychological help. I didn't see any of that shit. We went after school and did our thing. I don't understand it. Nowadays, though, they want to cancel everything historically Negro in this country. And not necessarily the, the Negro representation, but the struggle causality. That, that hits a little too close to home, so they're trying to do everything they can to erase it. Now, while one half does that, the other half puts us in the Supreme Court, has us looking up rich white dudes' butts, <laughs> giving backdating awards 100 years and pinning them on corpses. That's whatever you're doing, okay? You know, oh my goodness, and now you just topping shit on top of the society, just to, the pressure, just, I can't understand you about to cancel abortion. What's next? The trajectory is clear. Somebody's causing this shit. And I don't want Negroes to be caught unaware when the light switch flips up at Antoine Anderson told me about that fucking light switch. A few of them, already done. Some are just laying in wait. Don't you be nearby. Don't you be nearby. <sighs> Let's continue. Black Graves Matter. You didn't have to do that dumb shit. Okay. Uh, Matt James didn't realize he was the first black bachelor until after he agreed to do the show. I don't even want to go there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm just losing it all day. Uh, after opening at a robust clip, black businesses face tough headwinds. I can speak to that. That's true. Uh, guest opinion. Policing black children's hair isn't youth's soccer's job. Can I ask a question? What the fuck is it about our hair? What is it? I need this. Look, I don't fucking care about how they wear their fucking what is it about our hair ladies y'all gonna have to school me because I'm obviously missing something I can't find a single reason why a woman's hair black white any denomination color spectrum you wish to point to unless we're cooking food and it's to be netted that's about as far as I go but who in the fuck tells these people they get to tell a black woman how to wear their fucking hair man and in what universe do they get to tell our children what to fucking do when under their care? All they get to do is watch them. It's just interesting. The policing of blackness. That's why I don't like being regarded as black. Because all they do is police you. They want to police your thoughts. They want to police your actions. They want to police your look. They want to police your expression. They want to police every fucking thing about you. You want to be black? You do that. I'm going to be a Negro. Unpoliceable. Black children's hair. My God. You know, there will come a time. It's, it's just my thinking that all of us will be together. We'll have no choice. The expression of whatever sentiment these folks are itching to let loose on all of us will drive us to bring it in. Every fucking one of you. I know it. I do know. I see. You know, I'm wondering, you know, folks like Representative Scott, you know, Tim, I know he sees it. He's got to feel it. You know, Whoopi's feeling it. Oh, Whoopi feels it. Oh, yeah, folks, when they decide to check a Negro, it puts it all in perspective, doesn't it, Whoopi? How you feel, girl? You all right? I hear you. All right, let's continue. I drift. Uh, new reparations focus. They want to give you towns. 
I don't want your fucking towns. We're trying to leave. I don't want enclaves. Fuck your enclaves. Listen, keep your money. You're going to need it. Keep it! I might have wanted it maybe two, three years, seven, eight, nine years. I, not, not now. I don't want it now. It's worthless now. This shit ain't worth shit. It ain't worth the change you got to come in. I don't know what you. You might need to bribe a few people. You might want to hold on to that money. Okay! Do, do, do. Oh, my God. Uh, this is going to be in the news forever. Kira Johnson showed up for her scheduled cesarean section. And uh, the man uh, lost his wife. His result now is suing the hospital. I don't know, you know, uh, the whole tolerance. Uh, Detrina sent me uh, some info on the horrors of what happens to our women when they go. Uh, you know what? All I can do is just suggest that you find a black doctor, or midwife, or, you know, whatever the case is. And even then, you don't know. You just don't know. You don't know what the agenda is. You don't know the motive. You don't know individuals, what's on their minds, you know. Become a doctor and birth your own children. That's how you do it. It's a suggestion. All right. Continuing. Oh, oh my goodness. Black, uh, you know what? Black Panther 2. Not looking. You don't get to make money off us anymore. Not for me, you don't. You can you can go on some. Take that shit and get your ass out of here. I'm not looking at Black Panther. I'm not looking at 12 Years of Slave. I'm not looking. Get out! You know who the fuck signs off on all that goddamn shit? Sit there entertained at all you see. Caricatures. No, thank you. I'm not going to do it. All right. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kidding. You know what I do is I'm scrolling down the news. I'm seeing what's going to deliver. Oh, goodness. And I just keep uh, keep looking. I keep looking. I keep looking. And uh, if nothing comes of uh, then what I do is I look straight into the camera and tell you to stay the fuck out the way. What do you think's going on? Tell me. What do you guys think's actually happening? Really? Now, fuck the war. But, I mean, if you, uh, you just take yourself, put yourself in the center of it, and look at yourself objectively in 360 degrees. Tell me where it's heading and where you should be. And I need you to feel me on that, because no destination is good. I don't see a single trajectory they're taking that leads anywhere but to oblivion. And it's our job as Hebrews to simply await the kingdom. I truly believe the kingdom of God will be here on time, with time. All right, well, uh, I think I'm going to call it. You know why? Because 30-minute shows seem to get more watches. That's right. Plus, you know you got to go to work. You know you got to. You itching to go out there and huh? show your face to the world. Huh? I know you are. But you know before you leave, you know I'm going to tell you. I know you, you know, it's Mondays, 9th. You want to get away from Doug Brown. You tired of hearing me talk? I don't care. I'm still going to tell you what I got to tell you. You read the news with me. You see what the fuck's happening. I'm not telling you to stop in your tracks. I'm just telling you to keep your head about you. More importantly, if you've got to go out there, and I know you do. As long as you go out there, do it. One favor. That's all. Just get the fucking grin off your face. Try it one day. Give me one day without smiling. I'm not talking about scowling. Don't bring about your own demise. I'm talking about a serious countenance. A man, a woman, looks like you're going places. You don't have time to talk. You're not looking for answers. You're not looking for questions. You don't want to make friends. You don't want to make conversation. You're trying to get from where you are to where you need to be and back, unmolested, unfettered. That's all! I don't need to talk. My day is irrelevant. Try it. That's all. All right, folks, look, I'm out of here. It's uh, 7.30, and I did tell you to get the goddamn grin off your face, so oh, just slow the fuck down. Plus, you know, I have things to do. It was a good show. I liked it. All right! I know you guys are out there. You're about to go to your car and get in and drive and go to fucking work. Those of you that got to be there at 8 o'clock, drive safe. Those of you that have just arrived, wait! Look in the mirror. 
What do you see? What do you see? You see a, a Negro. That's right. You see a person that knows how they arrived. And you're about to go to work. But you're not going to work to be at work. You're going to work to pay bills. Be responsible. So you have the right attitude on your fucking mind. You're not surrounded by friends, Hebrews. You're surrounded by enemies. Now, if that don't put it in perspective, I just don't know what will. All right, I got to go. You guys have a wonderful day. I am Doug Rice. That's the Doug Rice Show, and I'm out for real.